So today is either the end of August or the beginning of September. I'm not really sure, but it's Monday. So hopefully that tells you something. I really got to look at a calendar before I start these things. Anyway, Zach and I have a few busy days ahead of us. I mean, when do we not at this point? Just 40 days before our wedding. But we decided last night to do a big clean out. We cleaned our kitchen and then we cleaned our dining room and we actually took down one of our fish tanks. We moved all of our angel fish from the dining room into the living room and took the fish tank in the dining room down. So now we have a big open space that I would love to put a server buffet table along. I think we get a lot more use out of that than the fish tank in there. So we're gonna go to Restore to see if we can find one there. We're also going to go to an aquarium store so Zach can look around. He kind of got excited about his fish tank again. <laughs> so he wants to kind of revamp the one in our living room, which many of you guys have asked what the heck is going on in there. And then later today, I have a video interview with Healthline. Tomorrow, we're going to Baltimore. So we just have a lot going on right now. And that's when I wanted to talk about Teeny Blends. If you watched my kidney stent removal video, you probably saw that I am partnered with Teeny Blends. I talked about the facial products, which I used this morning because my nose was not looking super great. Use the mask and clear it right up. But this is actually the tea that I purchased myself. And you can probably tell the reason I purchased this. If you can see, it literally is flower petals in there. So <laughs> I saw it online and I was like, um, yes. There are rosebuds, like full rosebuds in this. So I'm drinking a cup now to just give me a boost through the day because it's got a little bit of caffeine, but not too much that I'm gonna like feel sick like have that caffeine headache later. Zach likes it too and I've got my little leaf diffuser thing so I put all the tea in the little bulb here and then it just diffuses through the cup of water so um, I really love this. If you guys are interested in looking at this I'm gonna put my link below as well as a coupon code for you guys so I just wanted to share that with you and, and thank Teeny Blends again for partnering with me on this video. One of the other things that I want to do today is show you my belly because it is over a month since I had surgery. And I remember sitting in the hospital trying to record my belly and showing you the drain and showing you all the incisions. Well, I wanna show you what it looks like now because it looks so much better. I have one suture that's still in place that isn't falling out on its own. But hopefully this will give you encouragement for those who are worried about scars, especially with laparoscopic surgery. I am fairly certain that in a year's time, I will not be able to see most of the laparoscopic incisions that he made, which makes me really happy because I have quite a few incisions from my proctocolectomy surgery. And those incisions were a bit bigger and I think they'll take a lot longer to fade. But from my kidney surgery, they're already like starting to fade. I'm definitely gonna show you that, but we are going to head out to the store. We gotta get stuff done because my interview is at four and we need to be back by then. All right, so Zach, remembered for me. Restore is not open on Monday. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. So we will do that probably Wednesday, but we are going to the aquarium store. So I'm sure Zach is going to find something that he wants there. And uh, yeah, it'll be fun. So we're it's heading there. We're heading there right now. And uh, I'll show you when we get there. Oh, and this, they close it off. store but yes. it caters more to our towards uh, nano or smaller aquariums which yeah unfortunately ours would probably 
every fit, fish in the store would have fit in ours. Yeah. What's our what's the gallon size for our fish tank? So they labeled it as one fifty, but I did my own measurements. It's closer to one seventy. Okay. So we have a big fish tank. <laughs> Not the biggest. No. But it is pretty big and there are only four angelfish and one tetra in there right now. So yeah. And two snails. And two snails. So we're going to another fish store that's just 10 minutes away from Peddler's Village and hopefully Zach can find something a little bit better. Okay guys, so we went to the other fish store. It wasn't good. I'm not going to show it. It just, it was not clean. It wasn't taken care of and there weren't that many fish. It was weird. So I had my interview at 4 p.m. So Zach dropped me off here. And then he went to a third fish store. I think he's coming home with some new pets. Some new little pals, new friends. And uh, I got my interview done. I felt like I spoke really well, but that probably means I had like something in my nose or lipstick on my teeth. Something like that probably happened. Anyways, I'm just awaiting Zach to get home so I can see our new friends. <laughs> Did you bring any new friends home? I see a bag! And it's grass! Okay, Dixie, can you please? Please, we're trying to, we're trying to look at the new friends. You're scaring them. Oh gosh. Ah, you're walking too fast! <laughs> Dixie. Uh-uh. Guys, leave them big. Bro. Guys. It's okay. not dinner. There's no big fish. I was hoping they actually had a few angel fish. Uh, well, they did. But the ones they had, Nanners, were probably double the size of these Of guys. the, oh, yeah. We don't want to. Which they would be huge. So, so basically, just try to get a little, a few little guys to um, help keep the substrate a little cleaner. The algae, it's natural, normal, healthy algae growth, but to help them uh, cut down that. A few little snail dudes that did a great job cleaning up this rock. Oh my gosh, yeah, the whole rock was like black, like that so, top part. So what I gotta do is grab a bucket or two. And, and these little snails cleaned it. Ah, ah. Phil. Now Bruno's in my lap. Ah. He just licked my phone. He's licking my phone. <laughs> Bruno. Real <Good> boy. <laughs> Bruno. Big man. Bruno. <laughs> in less than 10 minutes, fish will be in the new tank. No. <laughs> hey there. He's always ready for kisses, always. as you can tell. It's so funny, because we have two dogs that love to give kisses, which is Nanners and Bruno. And then Holly and Dixie don't do that. It's like a very rare occasion when they give you a kiss. And if they do, it's kind of like, <laughs> it's like what they do. But Bruno's all about it. Yeah. All right, dudes. Okay, these are Tetris. Yep. So the single one in our tank is no longer alone. He's got some buddies coming in hot. Hey. Ready, guys? A little splish. And uh, there we're off. There we go. Are they all in? I hope. We hope. Check the bucket. Now we got our quarry cats going in. So these are all bottom feeders, and they're just going to go right to the bottom and start grazing. <laughs> Uh, the I goats, love these guys. These are our favorites. They're the yeah. goats of the fish world. Ready, dudes? Come on in. Ready? Where are they? There they are. See? So they go right to the bottom. <laughs> See? Yep, so right. cute. Look at them. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Look at the little quarry. Was I right about the uh, shrimpkins? Are they up in the uh, roots already? Um. We're never going to be able to find them. That's perfect. That's kind of what I want. They're um, more There's for one. maintenance the tank. There is one right there. Because we're trying to... And sorry, guys. It's a little... <laughs> it's gross. It's a little dirty right now because of all the new fish being added in. And uh, this week is my cleaning week for the tank. So we'll show you when it's all pearly and <laughs> uh, golden again. Okay. If you're wondering why we are just doing this tank now... We um, had really pretty expensive discus. We had four from Zach's grandfather. And, and we got four more. 
And then we got four more from this very questionable place in New Jersey that we're not going to say. Well, but They were reputable. Everything was praise and positive reviews. and Except for a few. And yeah. the discus brought in a terrible disease. I mean, Zach bought $400 of fish from these guys. Basically, this is, uh, it's like a plague that even large aquariums, when they have the professional staff always work on it, it can still eradicate up like three quarters or more of all your fish that comes in contact with. So we even took them to the fish vet and have tried everything and... We literally had the discus put under anesthesia, which is the coolest thing to see. Yeah. They can do that. And... We lost every fish in that tank, except for that one Tetra who lived. So we waited a year. I mean, we did everything. We treated with so many medications and it just killed them all, which is really sad to see. Like, like some of these discus were worth like $300. Yeah. So we lost them all, which is really great and really sad because they were Zach's grandfathers who has now passed on. And, um, Zach kind of like lost his will to do it, <laughs> but uh, since we took down the one tank, he wanted to have one good tank here, and hopefully this reignites it. So yeah, like I said, I'll be doing a big clean out once all the fish acclimate another day or two. Um, one of the angels just chased uh, Corey, but I'll clean everything out and start it all over again. Hey guys, it's the next day. I forgot I wanted to show you the jewelry that Rachel from the UK made and sent me, which is so cool. And I also wanted to show you a belly update of what my belly looks like over a month after surgery. It looks pretty dang good, and I think that my scars are going to fade really well because they already have a ton, so let's do that. I'm gonna bring you over to our dining room because I forgot to show you guys. Look at that. So if you guys have seen the dining room before, that wall had a fish tank and those were the angel fish. So now they are in the living room in the tank that I showed you yesterday, but I'm gonna show you the jewelry. And we are heading to Baltimore in about half an hour or so. We'll be picking up some stuff there and seeing Zach's family. Okay, let me show you this jewelry. Okay, look at these. These have real flowers in them and she put resin on top of them. She did a few different things too, not just flowers, like little hearts, little dangly earrings, like this little keychain, and a little seashell. I love this one. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. So now I have to decide what I'm gonna wear today, and hmm, let me think about it for a minute and then I'll show you what I decided. Okay, I am deciding on these guys. I feel like it matches my outfit. I kind of have some purple in my outfit. Yay, they're so cute, I love them. Thank you again, Rachel. This is such a nice gift, so I will be sending a thank you card to you. All right, so I got Zach to help me with recording this part, but I wanted to show you my belly. <laughs> I wanted to show you my belly. Um, it's gotta be like five or six weeks in surgery because I had it July 22nd. And don't mind the calamine lotion in my belly button or my scar because I don't know what's going on there. But um, let's see. I can't even tell which was which. This one I think was from kidney surgery. This is a Dixie hair. That's a Dixie hair because she's <laughs> everywhere. Um, yeah, that was proctocolectomy surgery in December. That's the kidney surgery in July. This guy, I don't know if you can really see. He has a suture still in him, so he is bugging me, and I have to get that out. Then I have this guy right there, which the suture actually just fell out a couple days ago, and now it's healing great. And my last incision in there is healing amazingly. So, and then I think they poked me or something by accident there. I don't know what that was, but it's a spot. So, um, I'm really happy with the progress that I've made on this. I feel like... They'll fade. They'll definitely Looking fade. beautiful. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so anyway, we have to go to Baltimore, so we need to get everything in the car and go. And I want coffee. How you doing? Me? Yeah.
do it this way because you're so tall. <laughs> do, do it. <laughs> Hi guys, so it is, there we go, the next day and we are... I'll, I'll keep squatting. <laughs> we're going to restore because we are looking for that buffet server table for our dining room, yep. which would be helpful when my bridesmaids are here and we're getting our makeup done and all that fun stuff. So we're gonna do that. We have to run to FedEx or UPS, wherever. And we're also gonna take a look at the barn. Exciting. And milk my my split. <laughs> it's literally doing a split. <laughs> I'm short, it's fine. He's tall, it works. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the barn when we get home, but we are out right now. We just went to one restore, and I didn't find a cabinet I liked, but I did find a couple of baskets, so pretty good. But we are in Lansdale, so we thought we would drive by our old house and show you where we used to live. The, <laughs> many, uh, many moons ago. This scary 1820s house. With the well in the um, basement. Yeah, there was a well in the basement when we had I Daisy. Um, Daisy, the first day we moved in, almost fell into the well and then we learned not to let our dogs down there. She almost jumped in, so that was fun. But we are we are gonna drive by it and see how it is. Sorry, we ran out of windshield wiper fluid, so we will also <laughs> be getting that today. But here, the not this house, this was our neighbor. Still and then, house. oh, that's our old house. Oh, something. they put lights? What do they do? They have a whole bunch of trailers wow. and stuff out back. Oh, it's a campground. There's like 12 RVs. Are you serious? I That's think. so cool. <laughs> or something. That was weird. Yeah, there's like a bunch of trailers all in the back. I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, but. that was the house that we rented. And our last straw was when it started raining on our dining room table. The house was not well cared for and we couldn't get the person who owned the house to care for it. Like we didn't have heat all winter <laughs> and uh, there were bats in the attic and snakes, too. snakes and ones. what else? All the floors were like, like our kitchen floor, they said they would replace, they never did. Yeah, it was like stand. peeling up and people would trip over it. It was just a mess. So then. It, there was a big rainstorm. It leaked on the third floor, which went to the second, which went to the first, which was our dining room table. So it was raining from our chandelier. And Zach somewhere has a video of it. It was I funny. It. it was not funny at the time, but it was funny now because we don't live there anymore. Looking back, right? But yeah, we, uh, we decided to move and we were trying to get in contact with the guy to end our like lease agreement or whatever it was gonna be, the like our year term, because we knew we were trying to leave after a year. Us. And he ignored us and he just decided that, oh, well, if they don't answer or if they don't contact me, it automatically renews for a year. And we're like, we are you kidding me? We tried to contact him so many times to end it because we knew we were gonna buy a house. And so Zach wrote this epic letter of all the things wrong with the house and the things he was doing illegally. And, uh, we didn't hear from him again. He never gave us trouble. So hopefully whoever is living in that home um, had a much better experience. We love the house. And honestly, I would have, if that was the house for sale, I would have loved to have yeah. purchased that one and then fixed it up. Although it looks like um, they have a new tenants again. So pretty well, much every year there's a new person there. And it looks like they did a lot to it already. Like they put up a fence and yeah. I know after looking online because a few tenants have been through this house since us they fixed a lot of the things that we had asked oh, yeah. them so maybe we weren't pushy enough i don't know but we're in our house now and we are happy okay yeah wow so these were where those shutters were those red ones where the pigeon was getting through <laughs> not anymore not anymore walls are going up Oh my goodness, guys, it's crazy. Oh yeah. Let's get in here. See a little piece of wall there, but we're gonna save that for when it's all done. Finally got the big hole in the stairs blocked. <laughs> the 
walk now on the mags. Woohoo!